So after owning this Evolution table saw for just over a year now, I thought I'd give you a performance review on how it's been over that year, things I find that I like about it and things that I find I don't like about it. So carry on watching if you want to see it. So if we have a look at the accessories you get with the saw first, you get this sliding uh, miter cut piece, um, it's got an adjustable angle guide here and if you unlock that you can lock in this clamp piece that also comes with it. I've never used this part, uh, I prefer to hold it back with my hand when I, on the odd occasion I have used it. You can adjust the fence side to side um, so it's not too close to the blade. Also included is a grip fence which slides along the track here with the measurement guides which you obviously lock into position at the length of cut you require. Another accessory is this blade guard. It simply bolts in across the back here on the riving knife and lifts up as you cut your piece of wood. The extraction hose slots into a separate um, connection down here onto the extraction outlet. So I bought this Evolution table saw because it would be my first table saw. Um, I didn't want to spend a great deal of money on a highly expensive one if it wasn't something I was going to use a lot. And owning the Evolution uh, sliding miter saw, uh, I thought that's a brilliant saw. Get really good results with it. I'll go for another Evolution setup. However, as you'll see throughout this video, Unfortunately, I don't think this saw is at the same standard as the sliding motor saw. One of the first issues I noticed with this saw is the grip fence. It's easy to use them to lock in, however, it wobbles quite a bit when you're using it. And I find when using it out wider on the edge of the saw, if you're um, cutting a wider piece of wood, I find that the fence slips. So I've cut a piece of plywood, something like that, uh, down the width and it ends up 3-4mm longer at this end than it did at that end. The longer I've owned this saw, the worse the wobbles got in the brick fence. And also, even though it's locked in, see how easily it moves. I find adjusting the height and the angle of the blade on this uh, extremely easy, um, it's one of the best bits of the saw, you just slacken this lock nut off here to change the angle and you push the wheel in and you can wind it to the desired angle of cut simply lock it into place and then using the handle you can lift the saw up or down So when I first got the saw, the first thing I wanted to do was check how accurate it was. So I put the blade up to its highest position, set my digital angle gauge on the flat piece of the table and then simply put it onto the blade. That should be showing according to the angle already on the machine it should be showing 90 degrees so it so it was pretty accurate on that so I simply lifted the blade up and then wind it over to 45 so I simply wind it to 45 degrees as you can see, it should be showing 135, it's showing 135.1. So I was pretty happy with the accuracy of the gauge on the saw. Something I think could have been vastly improved when making this saw was the quality of this miter cutting gauge. It does wobble a bit, and if you can see the two lines here, it digs in, and I've had a lot of trouble when holding the wood digging in and it moving. So although I could slide it up to the blade like that, and put my rafter square on to check for accuracy, which is extremely 
Correct. When checking the wood afterwards, you can see that it doesn't entirely cut straight due to the issues I've had with the slider motor gauge. Something else I'm not fond of is this insert plate. It's really flimsy here in the middle, as you can see. And it does bow when cutting wood. I've also had problems because it sits slightly lower than the saw of when I try to cut something, it jams at the end. Another feature I like on this saw is the blade holder. Um, you can fit about three or four blades on here and you simply undo the fly nut. Take the tools off for tightening the, the blade in place and the blade simply just slides out. One annoying thing is the arbor of the saw. Um, this blade here is a 30 mil bore, whereas, like I said, the saw is 25.4 mil. So you have to use a reducer ring to fit in. And I managed to find some somewhere that that supply them. Um, they're hard to get otherwise. Another disappointing thing about the saw that I've since found out since I bought it is that I bought the saw because I believed it to be an evolution product. However, since as I say, since buying the saw, I've noticed that there's other saws out there that are pretty much identical, really. Um, bar the only thing I can see different is the motors in them. So you've got the the Shepak uh, table saw, and also the the Titan table saw from Screwfix. They all are of very very similar design accessories. Um, it's almost like it's a generic saw that they all share about and just put their own motor in and stickers on. Which again is quite disappointing. Um, I paid, I think it was about £130 for the saw brand new from B&Q. It was on offer and I had a £10 off voucher. But I believe it's for selling there at £182 now. And when you can buy the other two table saws cheaper and they're identical, I believe. I don't know if anyone out there from Evolution is listening that they can, um, they can prove different. But when they're virtually the same, um, it doesn't make good sense to, to pay more for this saw. So there you go, there's, there's my one year review. Um, make your mind up um, about what you've seen and what you think. Um, I think I've made it clear the, the likes and dislikes on this saw. Um, so I hope you liked it. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, by all means, give it a thumbs down. Don't bother me. Uh, comments would be good. Um, and please share. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again.